Os acromiale a rare cause of shoulder pain. Os acromiale a rare cause of shoulder pain. This video has been produced from a book source. We would like to thank the editor Panayotu Karalambus. See the citation has been shown below. Os acromiale. The acromion is formed from multiple ossification centers which fuse between the age of 12 and 25 years. If one of the ossification centers fails to fuse, an accessory ossicle is formed known as os acromiale. The os acromiale is named according to the fragment located anterior to the unfused site. Hence, three types of os acromiale are described known as the preacromion, mesoacromion, metacromion. Demographics of Osochromiale. Incidence amongst the general the population is 1 to 15%. Bilateral in one third to two thirds of cases. Mesoacromian is the most common. Osochromiale, top and side views. A, preacromian, B, mesoacromian, C, metachromian. Clinical symptoms of Osochromiale. Asymptomatic often discovered as an incidental finding on radiological imaging of the shoulder. Pain, due to subacromial impingement caused by the mobile osochromiale fragment. At the site of non-fusion due to inflammation caused by abnormal movement. Of the unfused segments, clicking, weakness, excessive motion of the osochromiale may predispose to rotator cuff tears. Clinical signs of osochromiale. Acromial or subacromial tenderness. Subacromial impingement test. Rotator cuff weakness if associated tears. Investigations for osochromiale. Plain radiographs. Anterior posterior view. Double density sign suggestive of osochromiale. Axillary view. Scapular Y view. Confirm the presence of osochromiale. Define its location. Court. Confirm the presence of osochromiale. Further characterize the size and hapae of the os acromiale in planning surgery. MRI. To identify any associated soft tissue lesions such as rotator cuff tears. Plain radiograph. Axillary view. A. And court scan. Axial view. B. Showing os acromiale. Red arrows. Management of os acromiale. Non-surgical. Leave alone. Analgesia anti-inflammatories, local treatment, rest, activity modification, physiotherapy, eccentric loading to address rotator cuff tendinopathy, steroid injections, subacromial, non-fusion site, surgical, arthroscopic subacromial decompression to thin the os acromiale fragment, arthroscopic or open os acromiale fragment excision open reduction internal fixation of the os acromiale fragment plus bone grafting from acromion iliac crest greater tuberosity fixation may be achieved with tension band wiring sutures screws there is controversy as to the exact surgical management of the os acromiale with good results reported for the surgical excision of small fragments as well as the surgical fixation of larger fragments. Surgical excision provides definite removal of the pathological lesion, and the outcome does not rely on bone union. The disadvantage of excision is that, with larger fragments, a substantial part of the deltoid attachment may be lost leading to deltoid dysfunction. Surgical fixation preserves the deltoid attachment, but it is associated with a high rate of non-union as well as pain related to the hardware inserted for the surgical fixation of the os acromiale. The following may be considered as guidance. Pre-acromion, excise. Mesoacromion, excise or fuse. Metacromion, fuse. Excision may lead to deltoid weakness. Hence if it is a large fragment, an attempt should be made to save the fragment. Learning pearls. The acromioclavicular joint stabilizes a mesoacromion. Therefore, excision of the distal clavicle could further destabilize the os acromiale. If a large fragment is excised, the deltoid attachment must be repaired back to bone to avoid deltoid dysfunction and arm weakness.
This video has been produced from a book source. We would like to thank the editor Panayotu Karalambus. See Cytotyan has been shown below. Thank <laughs> you.